Tarun Sharma. I am Assistant Professor of Mathematics in Department of Science, Biani Group of Colleges. Today I am going to represent one of my lecture which is based on numerical analysis. In numerical analysis, we will discuss solution of algebraic and transcendental equations. So, today topic is solution of algebraic and transcendental equation. Now, we will discuss how to solve any algebraic and transcendental equation. First of all, uh, I would like to discuss what is algebraic equation and what is transcendental equation. In algebraic equation, now we can characterize algebraic and transcendental equation as follows. Any expression in x and y, we can say for example, x square plus 2x plus 3 equal to 0. It is a purely algebraic equation. We can say it is a quadratic equation in x. So, such type of equation can be characterized in algebraic equation form. On the other hand, we can say that x square plus k 2x sin of x plus exponential e to the power minus x equal to 0. And another form of x square plus 10x plus e to the power x equal to 0. Such type of equation is characterized as a transcendental equation. So, what we have discussed in transcendental equation, we have algebraic equation, we have some components of uh, uh, trigonometric function, similarly hyperbolic function, exponential function or inverse function. So, we can say it is a mixing of all kinds of function like the sin x, here 10x, exponential function, inverse exponential function. So, transcendental equation is a collection of all the, uh, we can say, uh, algebraic, trigonometric, trans, uh, hyperbolic, inverse function, whereas it is a pure in x equation, it is a purely in x equation. So, how to solve such type of equation? Let us take. Such type of equation can in numerical analysis, such type of equation can be solved by various methods. There are two types of method, direct methods and second is iterative, iterative methods. There are two types of method, direct methods and iterative method. In iterative methods, we have bisection method second is regular falsi and third is iterative method and fourth is newton repson method These are very well and popular methods for solving the uh, algebraic and transcendental equation numerical analysis. So, today uh, we will discuss Newton Repson method, how to solve any algebraic and transcendental equation with the help of Newton Repson method. Before solving such type of equation, we will introduce uh, what is the formula of Newton Repson method, uh, how can we derive the Newton Repson method. So, let us take. Suppose that we have we have f of x equal to 0. Suppose that we have any algebraic and transcendental equation in the form of f of x equal to 0. Then let x naught be any approximate root of this equation. So, 
we can say that the improved value of x naught is given by x1 is equal to x naught plus h. If x naught is the initial root or initial uh, value of this equation, then we can say approximate value or new improved value of this uh, x naught is given by x1 is equal to x naught plus h. In this case, we have f of x naught plus h equal to 0, this is number 2. So, now by using Taylor series, we have now by using the Taylor series, we can expand the equation to such as f of x naught plus h is equal to f of x naught plus h f dash x naught plus h square factorial 2 f double dash x naught and so on equal to 0. Here dash represents differentiation and in from this relation we know that if h is very small, if h is very small then we neglect the terms term of order more than 1, more than 1. Here value of h is very small, therefore the square of h, cube of h and nth power of h will become also small, therefore we neglect the term having order 2 and more than order 2. So, we retain only term up to h f dash x naught and we will neglect the term of h square factorial 2 f double dash x naught and so on. In this case, the shape of the equation third will become as so it will become f of x naught plus h f dash x naught equal to 0. Here this term is neglected and in this case h can be given by f of x naught f dash x naught. This relation is 4 provided derivative of f of x naught is not equal to 0. This must not be equal to 0. Hence, putting the value of h into the relation x1 is equal to x0 plus h, we get x1 is equal to x0 plus h, x0 minus the value of h is this one f of x naught f dash x naught. Hence, in this case, we have x 1 is equal to x naught minus f of x naught upon f dash x naught. Here, x 1 is the improved value of root x naught. In this similar manner, in this similar way, we may have x2, x1 minus f of x1 upon f dash x1. So, by following this manner and following this method, we can find that x1, x2 and so on, we can find xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn upon f dash xn. It is required formula for 
Newton Repson method, where f dash x naught is not equal to 0. It is our required formula for Newton Repson method. We have function given function in the we have given function f of x equal to 0. So, we can find f of x n. Similarly, derivative f of x n can be find. We can derive and we can uh, uh, differentiate this relation. So, we have f dash x n. Similarly, x n we have. So, from using this relation, we can find the solution of any algebraic and transcendental equation. Here, what is the main condition? Ho? From this result, we see that the value of derivative f dash x n must be very big because when the value of f dash x n must be big, then the value of h will be very small. So, we uh, in the conclusion, we can say that Newton Repson method is helpful when the value of h, h is the step size, then value of h is very small, then Newton Repson method is applicable. On the other hand, if the value of de this derivative became very uh, small, then the uh, value of h become very high. In this case, Newton Repson method is not applicable. We cannot use Newton Repson method or uh, in this case, we can use a uh, regular falsi method which is already discussed in earlier class. So, regular falsi method can be discussed in the uh, in the case when the value of derivative of f dash x n is uh, value of derivative of f dash x n is very small. So, it is the formula for Newton Repson method. Okay, thank you very much.